I'm not ready. I'm not ready at all. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I've, I've heard some things. I used to have a friend that was super into it, and I've heard some things. And I'm not excited. Alright, let's go. Start. New game. Chad beneath no, English. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. What do I, I? I'm gonna go gentle. Excuse me, but for my kind, should I? I mean, like this is my first time ever playing this game, so I don't know if I should go gentle or not. Uh, what do you think? I'm gonna make the chat a little bigger. Hold on. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. Uh, fine. Uh, I'll do. I'll do kind. Sure. I'll. I'll do kind. <laughs> Why not? Let's try this. It's not too loud, right? I know I keep asking this. Okay, shh, be, be quiet. I gotta watch. Oh. I know, I know, I know that boy. I know, I know who that is. Uh oh. Yeah, the art style is nice. I was gonna say, I like it. I've never, I've never played any of these games before. I don't know what to expect. I'm just letting you know this now. Oh rip! Rest in peace. Can we get an F? That's so fucking sad. <laughs> I don't know who that was, but rip him, I guess. Trigger Happy Havoc. Now, what, what, uh, like, what game is this? Is this, like, the first one, or, the, like, what is it, you know? Like, what, which Danganronpa game is this? It's the first one? Wow, okay, cool. So I'm glad I, I got this. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling bourbon area. Bourbon? I said bourbon. <laughs> Urban. <clears throat> it's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peaks Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and ma manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students... ...was me. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Well, I guess I don't have to do any voice work, huh? Hi. He's cute. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, same. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Among, even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's good to introduce yourself right off the bat. <laughs> but you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I don't know what that means. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. But still, here I am, standing in front of it. Standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peaks Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. Why did the text color change? I wonder if someone like me can survive a place like this. 
Why, why is it blue again? It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel this way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. I don't like that. Oh, okay. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high school. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Oh, excuse me. And there's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Oh, nice. And then there's the ultimate fashionista. Oh, I know her. Oh, 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 I know her. I know her. <laughs> She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Like, I vaguely know some of these characters. Like, I don't know any of, like, yeah, I know Junko. I, like, I know a few of them just because I've had friends who were into them. And I know, like, I, you know, on Tumblr and stuff. And I've seen, I've seen these characters and I've seen them named. But, like, I don't know anything about them. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler. <coughs> oh my god, that voice is not doing good for my throat. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then so. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I, was. powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a, I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me without any talent or anything? The thought that was the, the that thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievable average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. We've recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our high school. Oh, well, I mean, he should have said that right off the bat. He's like, oh, why do I? Why, why was I chosen? It's because they chose a random person. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spell it out. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been even better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then. Actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutch in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students at the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Also, hey Shag and Scoob, what's up? I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I've done this a million times before, and I took my first step towards the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant, uh, elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start till 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting, just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school, maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, and there shouldn't be any problem with me having to look around, right? It'll help me kill some time if nothing else. 
Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Homespeak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. I'm, I'm giving him like a YouTuber voice. At least, that's what I was hoping for. What the? But the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped. Twisted. Okay, I'm not giving him a YouTuber voice. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. <clears throat> oh my goodness. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began, and how life as I knew it came to an end. He's dead. That's the end. He died. <laughs> the credits roll. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought into Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. I was, I, it's, it's so I could experience ultimate despair. Oh boy. Well, rest in peace. Welcome to despair. Oh my god. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Do you want to save the data? I mean, sure. So we don't have to do that again. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk out in the middle of the same boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've been in before. What the heck is going on? Oh. This is cool. I like this. <clears throat> Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Oh, this isn't him anymore. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. You can be aiming at an object you can interact with. You can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate the object. <laughs> use the WASD buttons to adjust your viewpoint. You can press the right mouse button. NAND. What? You can press the right mouse button. NAND to move the mouse around. To move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Oh. Oh. Can I interact with the camera? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep those weirdos just from wandering in. Huh. Cool. I like it. What's this? All right. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it, bang, bang. Yep, definitely metal. Thick too. Very solid. <clears throat> oh, my voice is getting so fucked up. I just woke up. <clears throat> so I'm like, I'm still raspy. I still have morning voice. One second. Mm. Oh, goodness. Okay. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Here, uh, one sec. I'm a little paranoid that, uh, I know, I know I keep asking, but I'm a little bit paranoid that, uh, the volume is, is a little messed up for my taste, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna just check real quick for myself. No, what am I doing? What? Stop. Don't do that. I just want to check to see if the volume's okay. One minute. Oh, there's an ad. Of course there's an ad. Okay, hold on. Then let me... Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, I can turn off the... I can turn off the, uh, the volume. So I can give this a listen. One second. One second. Okay. I can hear my voice twice. That's fine. <laughs> you can hear it echoing. Okay. And then I'm going to actually do that. Is like, can you hear the game volume? Okay. You know, I want to make sure it's all, it's all good. I know I'm, I know I'm being a little bit paranoid, but like dangling grandpas. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now it, uh, now it, uh, notified people on Twitch. Okay. Or on, and discord. 
Okay, let's get started. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of jewelry must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. <clears throat> hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide it says, Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today. This school will be your entire world. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. And there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Hmm, what about the door? I'd better look at around the classroom a little more before I head out. Oh, come on. Another? There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. I was just at, it was just after 7 when I got here. Has it already been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. What might have happened is, I got myself so wound up that I passed out in the main hall and someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. Then if that's true, it just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. R. Leave the area. Yes. Well, don't spoil it for me, Lily. I didn't know that. Jeez. This hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the Boisset keys to move through the hallway. Hold down the shift key while moving to run. Oh, wow. Also, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient! Wow, I didn't expect there to be, like, full controls in this game. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I didn't want it when I... When I saw this game, like, I didn't expect it to be, like, a first-person game, you know. Also, I just want to say, obviously, please don't spoil the game for me. I'm not saying you did, I'm just saying, like, for future reference, nobody, if you know how this game goes, please don't spoil it for me. Because I am invested already, this is actually really cool. Alright, so where am I going? Oh, there's the, the dude on this. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Well, it's got the bear icon on it, so I don't, you know, I don't trust that room. Oh, this is the main hall here, isn't it? No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. There's the bathroom. Or is that the bathroom? I don't know. Uh, where am I going? I'm going to the main hall. There's the gym. Okay. Big room is a beating room? Which big room? There's a hotel? Is it the gym? I'll go to the gym. Wow, I can go fast. Look at me zoom. Look at me zoom. Okay, gym. The gym. The handle didn't move at all. Oh, it's not the gym. <laughs> uh, look at me zooming. Look at me zooming. Okay. Can't go in there. There's classrooms. What is this? The AV room. It's locked. There's a big AV room. Oops, I opened my my uh, steam where am I, oh, am I going maybe I'll go to the hotel I'll try going to the hotel despair hotel I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight but anyway oh my god where am I going <laughs> <clears throat> is it here this has to be it right it's open oh yeah okay <laughs> By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh boy, look at them all. Oh, hey! Another new kid? Huh? 
Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Man, there are some interesting characters here. I've seen the character design in this game, and it's very... It's very odd, I'll say that. But standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered here, taking their faces in one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could kind of feel an aura coming off of all of them. Oh, look at them all. Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Nagi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just... asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? I'm giving them the same voice. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. I don't like him. Um, uh, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me. Makoto! Your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting is to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. I mean, I did, I did spend a long time walking around trying to find my way here. Everybody just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now is no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we are, who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way then, so we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best just to focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance as I'm gonna get. Also, if I start yelling and it's too loud, let me know. Because I like doing, like, the voice acting. And if things start to get too intense, just tell me. <laughs> like, for that one guy, I kind of yelled and I was worrying that it was a little too loud. But, you know, whatever. I already looked up everyone in that Host Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people...